And do I ever have a cautionary tale for you guys today? It's about this guy, the Thronemax M Drill One. From where you're sitting, it looks like a stunning little microphone, right? Well, that's what I thought too, and you and me both could not have been more wrong. The story begins several months ago when a friend reached out to me about a microphone from a company I've never heard of before. They were called Throne Max, and they seem to be a new company with just two products, the M-Drill Zero and the M-Drill One microphones. Normally I'm quite skeptical of indie companies, especially ones that crowdfund on sites like Indiegogo with no past products to show. But by this point, the campaign was already successfully funded with over 60,000 US dollars pledged to the company, and the company seemed to have a very high production quality in terms of their marketing and what they were actually promising. From the photos in their marketing campaign, the microphones looked awesome, especially the M-Drill 1 Pro. Thronemax claimed that the M-Drill 1 was able to record in five different recording modes. It was powered by USB-C, it had an indicator for volume, it had this really cool all-metal design with RGB lights and a bunch of other features. On paper, there really wasn't much to dislike about it. So, like the tiny, cheap, money-grubbing little YouTuber I am, I reached out to Thronemax asking if they'd send me a review unit for free. And they did. It came in the mail in this sweet black case, all wrapped up to perfection. I gotta hand it to Throne Max, they really do know how to market their product. It even comes with a braided right angle USB-C cable, which, hilariously enough, is the best part about this entire product, microphone included. So I set it all up, noting very quickly that the mic was a whole lot more plasticky than it looked in the images, but I wasn't really thinking critically at this point, you guys, I just really wanted to hear what it sounded like. So I plugged it in, waited for the drivers to do their thing, and opened Audacity to listen to the microphone for the very first time. Here's where I get angry. This is the worst sounding dedicated microphone I have ever had the misfortune of testing, and I wish I was exaggerating. There's a reason there's two microphones up here in front of you guys. The one you're listening to right now is the Audio-Technica AT2020 Plus USB. And it sounds pretty good, right? Wanna hear what this one sounds like? Nah, no, trick question, no you don't. It's terrible. Listen to how bad this is. I literally spent the better part of an hour messing around with the settings in this thing in an attempt to make it sound better than a $20 cheap Chinese knockoff microphone from Wish. So anyway, after getting frustrated with this thing, I decided to dig around online to see if I was missing something. Nope, turns out it's just a terrible microphone. If you go to the comments page of this microphone, there are pages and pages of people complaining about how terrible the microphone is and how they want their money back. Brian Stevenson says, refund request, worst mic I have ever used, pure fraudulent campaign. Noise cancellation does absolutely nothing. Recordings on cardioid versus noise cancelling pick up identical amounts of background noise. This is a half-baked product. Andrew Papa Giorgio, hello, I've been testing the microphone and understandably people are upset. The number one reason we all purchased this microphone was because of the promised clarity it would bring. In reality, you provided a microphone that picks up every noise without any ability to suppress. I'm pretty disappointed to say the least. My $40 boom mic attached to my headset? People say that sounds a hundred times better. Sad face with a nose. Jeppy Frost says, so far the M-Drill 1 Pro has been a huge mistake as a backer. The firmware is all wrong. The firmware updater does not work. Throne Max does not respond at all. This appears to be some sort of cheap, poor made China mic. This will definitely keep me from backing any future projects for anyone. I guess there's always eBay to sell this junk microphone to someone to recover some of my money. And while I don't condone that last sentence, there's something definitely to be learned from Jeppy here. Be extremely careful on crowdfunding sites. If a company has no previous crowdfunding campaigns, that's a red flag. If there are very few reviews available of a product before its campaign is over, that's a red flag. And if the only samples available are musicians recording their instruments inside a sound booth, that's a red freaking flag. Thronemax was responding to comments up until about a month ago, so at least they were trying to reach out to people a little and apologize or help with the comments or concerns. But they recently made a post saying they won't be responding anymore on the Indiegogo platform, which wouldn't normally be a problem, except for the fact that there are tons of people commenting that Thronemax isn't replying to their emails either. So yeah, goodbye! Seriously though, I feel really bad for the people that went out and spent their hard-earned cash on this microphone and waited nearly a year to receive it. I mean, I feel disappointed by this microphone and I didn't even buy it. 
The moral of the story here, folks, is just be careful when you're shopping around on crowdfunding sites. I'm sure there's a lot of companies out there that are doing great things and making great products. I mean, I recently just bought the USB-C hub, uh, Hyperdrive, I think it was called, and that was a great hub. It's one of the best Kickstarter projects I've ever bought. It's just companies like Throne Max that are kind of ruining it for everybody else. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to support my content. And as always, have a great day.